guys, welcome to uh, the GTV, uh, first ever Beta G cast. Uh, I'm Jiraco Drama. I am the commissioner of the G League. It has been my baby up here for about 12 years, and it's a culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and uh, players and, and friends like you guys out there. So I want to just say thank you for joining. Thank you for having the trust that this would be something that we could pull off. It's uh, it's kind of new, and it, it's a lot, of, a lot of fun to be able to play with all these different people because I'm in a lot of leagues. So it's pretty cool to see all these different people. And now, instead of going against them with my team, I'm on their team going against my team. So it's been pretty cool. Um, a great journey. The man to the left of me is someone that's uh, stepped up at first. He just said, you know, hey, I want to be the head ref. Um, he plays with us as, as, as the Rudy G family. And, you know, that was kind of cool. He's like, you know, I'll, I'll be the guy that, that does that for you. And then he kind of came in and just and just kept helping me. So I do want to say thank you to him. Introduce him. This is Xavier Madera, aka X. Um, X go pivot to everybody out there that's about to be watching this. With that being said, I would like everybody, you know, go to the YouTube, you know, subscribe and follow the G League, all our highlights, and everything's going to be posted there. You know, now we're going to move on. We just had our draft a couple of days ago. We want to, you know, get into talks about that. Can you give us any quick team thoughts, you know, would like to say um, about these teams? I just love the draft idea, and I, and I just want to go ahead and shout out to Fair Down. Um, you know, I've been going to all different leagues and just taking the best things that I've seen and trying to get rid of the worst things. And, you know, towards the end of this 12 year thought process of the G league, I saw them and uh, that was a, a feature that I saw and thought was really needed, especially from being in leagues where it was all top heavy. But as far as the draft goes, the teams I see, um, Ohio state ballers, you know, Joe, Joe Guff came back and I think he really took, took the first draft and learned and took this one serious. I think he did his homework. Um, I think he looked at everybody's highlights that they sent him, which was really helpful. Uh, hopefully next year we'll be able to get like a combine and everything going for you guys. Uh, Shannon Hill and the uh, Nebraska Pirates, he, he definitely drafted one hell of a team. It's got a lot of familiar faces. You know, he took you know, the best center um, and, and good sports during seasons um, all from the Spartans. And then you got teams like Stereo Mook, who I think will be the villain of this league. Yeah. If you could say. Most hated team, definitely. <laughs> um, they're my rival. And, you know. This year, you have to put up something as well. That's just that. Um, um, going off of that, through this draft, you have 13 teams, you know, mm -hmm. it seemed very even. It really did. Everybody had a, a decent to good draft. You know, a lot of new faces, too, that we really don't know about that we're very excited to see. Yeah. That being said, I really do think that the talent was spread out through this draft. So I'm definitely excited to see that. Um, I want to talk about these cool logos we have going because, you know, we have new logos this season. Okay. You know, new teams added. Seven yeah, new teams yeah. added. So um, we want to talk about that. Shout out to Ryan Tapia. Um, he is the quarterback on Shannon Hill's team. It was actually his first pick. He went capitalist grabbed him in the first round. So that shows you that he's he's new to the G fam and he got picked up in the first round by a, a veteran of the, of the G fam. So it's pretty cool to see that. And he came in, he said, hey man, you know, can I help? And he did. And that's, just, that's what this league's really been about. It's just been like growing a family. And it's cool to just see people come into it right away and just want to be a part of it. So, you know. Shout out to Ryan. Out to um, Ryan. Just a little, little bit on that, you know. Our slogan, you know, it's more than flag. You know, it's a family over here. So shout out to Ryan. Um, we really haven't got to talk much about the past champions. So I, I really want to get into that right now. As you can see, okay. we have their belt right next to us. As you guys can see, I got to get this back. You know what I mean? This thing's good and great this week. And then we're going to go ahead and give it back to Captain Jesse. You know what I mean? Jesse Hunt. You go ahead and get to wear that. Our first 99 anything. overall card, by the way. You can see that on our IG page if you would like. Going on the champion talk, they still look like a promising favorites for next season as well. That's just my opinion as the head ref being able to see every team. I mean, I saw three of them yesterday. So to just see Jesse, Georgie, and Davey 
together and the chemistry that they have is it's like a, it's it's pretty scary so it's, it's gonna be fun to see and and i like the fact that i allowed it to happen like where, where we have a dynasty run now so teams are eligible if they win to stay together for up to four seasons and get you know that that name etched in the g late league hall of fame so shout out boomers um and while we're on the championship talk talking about awards we're actually bringing a couple new awards this season. We have the Workhorse Award, mm-hmm. and we have the G-Man Award. Do you like to talk about those a little bit? Okay, so the Workhorse Award is there's just a, a difference between a player who goes out there and he's just good, you know what I mean, and, and he's just a poor teammate. And then there's somebody out there who's not only a good teammate, but he's he's a player on the field, off the field. He's... He's constantly talking up the sidelines. If he sees something, he's saying it. If his man's down because he dropped the pass, he's picking him up. He's grabbing flags out there. He may not have the best hands or something like that. That's the kind of workhorse I'm looking for. Somebody that loves the game and that really still, like, plays it the G way. You know what I mean? So that that's my workhorse. And then the G man of the year is going to be kind of like my Walter Payton award because, um, you know, G stands for Rudy G, which was my father, rest his soul. Um, he left behind his company, his legacy, and his passion for the community and for spreading out and trying to you know, get the youth and, and all of us together to, you know, be a whole and just really uh, come together as a family, one color, one race, all that. So that award is going to be really special, and it's going to be an honor to really hand that out to someone that, that embodies that, that vision and that, that character where, you know, you might see them on Instagram kind of like helping someone out or you just see them around, you know, that's that type of person. A couple of new cool awards that you'll, that you'll see this year. Um, next topic I really want to get into is uh, the way too early, you know, draft thoughts and early odds on who's going to win it all this season. Yeah, you sent these to me, but I, I haven't seen them yet, so I'd be interested. I have them on me right now. I'll, I'll scroll through 1 through 13 and see your raw reaction. Sitting number one, you know, most favorited to win the G Bowl and the championship belt again would be the Boomers plus okay. one hundred. Right. And then at number two, we have Ohio having an amazing draft. We have them, you know, second on the favorite list. And number three, we have the Nebraska Nebraska Pirates plus two hundred to come win that win that title right next to us. Uh-huh. Then we have Stary and Ashanti team, Heartbreak University at number four. Uh there's a lot to say about that team. Very um I'll say it, championship or bust mentality for them. Uh, at number five, we have Michigan State with uh, Dylan at, at captain, you know, yeah. and Chris at co-captain. Two new people, cool to see. At six, we have Cal University, okay. plus 325, sitting right in the middle of the pack. At seven, we have Miami. We have, you know, Tim's team. Tim okay. just won quarterback of the year. At number eight, just missing the playoff cut. We were allowing seven teams in the season. We have his team, the Lady Lions. Sorry. See if you could do something about that during the season. At number nine, we have Jalen's team. We have um, the Clemson Ligers. I don't know why he keeps saying we, though. Hold up. Who, who, who is the Vegas anyway? I, I don't agree with none of this the shit. The back office. All um, right, so. At number 10, we have uh, the OCC Savages. <laughs> and behind them, we have App State at 11th on our favorite list. i tell you what, if they get their shit together, that, that's going to be a good little uh... – you know, me put your money on the beginning of the season, that might pay off. Um, and then at 12, we have the the dank blue devils with TY running it. TY is a character, so you never know with him running a team what you're gonna get. So, you I know. think he drafted a good team. I think that's wild too. That's that's good money there, too. Um, and last on the list, what, 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 what is that right there? Plus 600, plus 600 on your yeah, dollar. You know what that, I'm saying? That might be all right. That might be all right. At 13, you know, last of the pack, we have Kent, uh, Ken State with Chucks, bro. Kane State with Chucks. Thanks, there we go. Thank I keep you, getting bro. the I keep like getting the, the name fourth time you changed it though. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, killing me, Smalls. Oh. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> That's the team I'm gonna have trouble yeah, with this I season. Kane to Kane to Coon. Like but, um, we have them at plus seven hundred. You know, a whole new team to the league. And they um drafted a whole bunch of new players that weren't in last season, so. We're excited to see what they bring. Just because they're last on our favorite list doesn't mean they're a bad team at all. Do you have anything to say about those that order? Um, I mean, yeah, I got everything in the world to say about that order. It's it's, it's crazy. 
I mean, there's good money at the eighth spot, but apparently I'm not going to make the playoffs. Like, We're going to fast forward into the, the trade rumors. We actually had a three-team trade happen. It was supposed to be a four-team trade. I'm going to talk about it, talk about it. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be a four-team trade. Um, I'll tell you what, the rookie year, Raj here, he was, he, was, he was really like a hot commodity. And um, Heartbreak University wanted him. I spoke with Stary. Stary said, I'm good with everybody on my team. I drafted it for a specific reason. Um, I don't want to trade. <clears throat> I believe his co-captain just wanted to get back with his boy, which is understandable. Yeah, you know completely. I mean? so that's what the league's about, too. So if you're going to make it happen, you got to make it happen fair. Hold on. I want to just hop in. The biggest part about that trade rumor is the um, fact that Jones just keeps getting passed around. Yeah. So Jones went from, uh, let's see, he went from Cal U, then he went to Heartbreak, and the Heartbreak gave him over to, gave him over to his landing spot. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, he, he started at Ding Flu okay. Devils. Yeah, that's my fault. Went to Heartbreak, and then Heartbreak dished him out to Cal University Bandits. That's terrible. Which is mind-blown, considering yeah. they have Alex, and now he's partnered with Alex. Yeah, I mean, if you think about Lyman, that's probably two of the top three in the league. Uh, I tried to make that point, and then and then Kyle's made a funny point and said, well, if you had him, it would be the same thing. So I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> so funny. Crazy that we talk about Jones so much. We actually brought him here live, and okay. I'm going to slide out and yeah. actually let Jones come in so Gerard yeah. can drill him with a couple questions. Yeah, let me, let me talk to this guy here. Welcome to our first, our first uh, GCast, GTV guest. It's been a long time, long time teammate, long time friend. 